Hello everybody, TK Guilty here, and welcome to my review of the Figma DX Edition Yunu Camp slash Laidback Camp Regen! Yes, she is finally here, but we have to establish something real quick. So yes, she has clearly already been opened out of the box, which is not like my usual Figma reviews. I usually do unboxing and reviews, however... This figure, I have to, uh, we have to start this review by getting something out of the way here. So, this figure, I have been absolutely insane. I have been obsessing over this figure for the past, like, seven months, pretty much since I got the Nadeshko Figma. I have been frothing at the mouth to add this figure to my collection, to put it up with my Nadeshko on my shelf. And, um, I received the figure, and it was uh, the day that I got this figure... I had quite possibly the worst shift at work I had ever had in my life. It was an absolutely atrocious day. It was so bad. And I got home getting really, really happy to maybe get the day, to make the day better with my, with my, with finally getting to open Nin Chan. And this Figma has a couple of issues, a couple of pretty si significant issues in my opinion. And it kind of, well, the first video I made, because I did record it originally, the unboxing interview, but it was absolute trash because I was in such a horrible mood from my shift and this figure with its quite big flaws that it, that it does have. The whole video was pretty much just me being really disappointed and letting my, the fact that I was so disappointed with the figure just completely corrode my judgment. It wasn't objective whatsoever and it was a horrible review and I hated everything about it. So I have deleted that video. I want to give this figure, this figure a proper review because Yuru Camp is one of my favorite animes of all time. Reen is one of my favorite characters of all time. I love, love, love this show and uh, I wanted to make sure that I gave it the thing it deserved and actually, as if like clockwork, after having the figure for a while, I have grown to like it quite a bit it's it definitely has some issues and we are going to talk about those in depth in this video this is definitely not a perfect figma unlike pretty much every other one i've gotten this year well the now fumi isn't uh, isn't perfect either but overall this is probably the weakest figma i've gotten but i still really like it and we're gonna get into why it's one of the weaker ones but once again i do really like it and in that first review i was just so pissed and had such a horrible day at work that i came in here and i and i just made probably the worst review i've ever made in my life so that one has been deleted and this is going to be my official review of the rin shima i am coming back into this i've gotten a full night's sleep i feel good again i'm really into data live right now so i'm really happy right now because i Know that as soon as I get this finished, I can go watch Data Live. Uh, so yeah, let's jump into the review. And let's start off by taking a look at the box. So of course, I got the DX Edition because I'm not crazy. We have the DX Edition box right here with Ran right there with her little uh, with her little stool and the uh, the Bunsen burner and her phone holding her thing right there. Absolutely adorable in the little chair. Rinshima DX Edition on the side. You have Rinshima DX Edition Yudu Camp Figma on the back. You have a bunch of obligatory product shots showing her with the uh, Nadeshko in the blanket. I will be showing that in this review because of course, I have the Nadeshko Figma. There she is in the blanket with the mort with the pork skewers. We can take her out, and we have the box right here. Another picture of her right there on the side. Same thing here. Here with the little blade that she uses, and you have Rinshima DX Edition. Pretty much nothing else to go over with this. However, before I take the box out of here and we get into the figure, I do want to show you guys how the box looks with the Nadeshko box. So here they are side by side. Here they are this way. Here they are. This way. So yeah, very, very cool. I actually think they look pretty darn great together on the shelf. I don't think we're going to be getting any more Figmas for Yuru Camp, so this is probably going to be the extent of it, which I don't really have a problem with. These are the only two characters I really need uh, Figmas of, and, and honestly, like, need is a strong word, but these are the only two Figmas that, like, these justify Figmas. But with that being said, let's jump into the review and let's start off by taking a look at the figure. And one thing right off the bat that's absolutely phenomenal about this figure is the head sculpt. The head sculpt is absolutely phenomenal. The likeness to Rin Chan is fucking fantastic. They did such a great job on the hair bun right there. It looks just phenomenal. There we go. Sorry, that was so difficult. So yeah, they did a phenomenal job on the on the head sculpt, man. It is it's absolutely perfect. The eyes look perfect. The mouth looks perfect. The likeness to the character. I actually think the likeness to the character is even better on Rin than it is on Nadeshko. Like seriously, it is fantastic. And then you move down. You have her scarf right there, beautifully painted. It looks really, really, really nice. Although we are going to talk about the scarf in this video because it causes some problems. But moving down to her jacket, there she is. The outfit they went with is a very interesting outfit. I think that there might have been a better outfit to put her in, just like with the. 
Nadeshko. I think if they had gone with a different outfit, it may, the figure may have came out better, but this is the outfit they went with, and it's not a bad outfit, because she used, she wears this outfit quite a few times in the show, but there's another outfit that I kind of would have preferred if they had gone with, but I'll talk about that later on in the video, assuming I don't forget, because I forget that a lot, <laughs> but yeah, uh, these little pieces on your arms here are for, uh, are to facilitate a gimmick, so don't worry about that, and also is this crack, but we're going to talk about that soon, but yeah, the sculpting's really nice. On the camera, the orange is, the orange comes across much brighter than it is in person. In person, it's actually a little bit drabber than it looks on camera. Uh, I actually think it looks better on the camera, so that's one thing I did want to tell you. The, if you When you get this thing in hand, the orange might not look as good. Uh, and then moving down to her legs, you can see her jeans look very nice, and then her boots look phenomenal. Actually, they did a great job on the boots. I love the silver buckles right there. Now, one thing about this figma that I have to bring up is that I just think she feels a little bit different. Like, the material of this figma feels a little bit different than other figmas I have. There's just something about the material of this that just feels a little, I don't want to say cheaper, but it's different, and it's different, in, and it's not different in a good way. It's it's fine, it's perfectly acceptable, but it's not exactly the material you expect to feel when you get when you pick up a Figma, and the main thing is the hands here. The hands, there's something about the hands, I don't know what the material is that they made the hands out of, but it does not feel as good as uh, like every other one of my Figma's hands do. This just, I don't know, whatever's going on with the hands here, whatever they had to do to make it this color to give her her gloves, I'm not sure, but in my opinion, it doesn't feel as good as regular Figmas. Now, let's start jumping into some of the issues with this figure, because obviously the way I started this video, you're probably expecting me to get into that. So yeah, we're going to get into that right now. By far, my biggest issue with this figure is how they handled the head sculpt. Now, it's not 100% uh, hopeless. There, there's ways you can do it, but the way they handled the head sculpt is that the head sculpt comes off... And the scarf piece, hang on, I gotta put this piece back on there. The scarf piece plugs into the back of her head. So you can see here, you have a ball joint on a clear peg right there, and that plugs into this piece on her head. The problem with this method is it makes her head not be able to move pretty much whatsoever. She can't look down. And when you put this head sculpt on the figure, which admittedly it does go on very easily, but it, it, she doesn't, it's like impossible to get her to look straight ahead. She always looks like she's looking upwards a little bit. And I'm just not a fan of the way that looks. You can see there's basically no, no way to get her head to just look straight ahead without it just popping right off of the joint. So yeah, it's a, it's a really, 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 I just don't like that. I don't like that at all. It's just bad. I don't like the way it feels. This was kind of a problem with the Nadeshko, but it was, it was forgivable with the Nadeshko because with the Nadeshko, you took the scarf off and you gave her the alternate head and it was done. That, that problem was gone. But with this one, you can't fix that because if you take the scarf off, oh shit, I kind of, <laughs> spoiler, um, if you take the scarf off here, if you take the scarf off here, she stands up better than your average Figma, so that's nice. But if you take the scarf off here, and then you put her head sculpt back on, uh, yeah, it looks so bad. It looks absolutely like this is not even remotely, this is not even remotely a way you can display the figure. Nobody in their right mind is going to look at this and be like, that looks good. Yeah, that looks like shit. So the only way to do this is to go about it the way that they did it. However, I am going to show you what I have uh, discovered about this figure. I don't know why this, this scarf piece did not give me a problem before. This piece did not want to come out all the time. But anyway, so that piece plugs into that clear ball joint, and then you plug that on right there, and yeah, she just doesn't want to look ahead, which is kind of obnoxious, honestly. I'm really not a fan of it. This was one of the things I could not stand when I originally made my video. However, the way you fix this, that I have discovered anyway, is you just separate the ball joint from the head sculpt, and you just kind of bring it the, the peg up a little bit, and there you go. Now her scarf is sitting freely, and you can move the head sculpt around. So you might be saying, okay, DK, completely fixed, but it's it, it, I, I think there might have just been a better way to go about this like for me this clear peg is just poorly handled i think it should have gone into maybe the back of her into either her back because there's no articulation in the torso which is another issue with this figure there's absolutely no articulation in the torso so they could have just made this plug into the back and then just made it fold over because obviously if you have it like this now the back looks kind of weird because it doesn't sit like a scarf would actually sit on a human being from the front it looks great like this is how i've had her displayed on the shelf and this is how i'm going to continue to have her displayed on the shelf because this just looks better and she can look straight ahead. Because if you actually plug the clear joint in there, now she's looking up ahead. So there you go. That's her with the actual official configuration that you're supposed to do. And this is her if you do it the way I'm telling you to do it. 
So yeah, it's a huge difference. It looks way better if you just separate that. I'm actually kind of tempted to just come in here and just break this clear piece off, although probably not necessary, honestly. That'd probably be just be going a little too far. I thought originally it would help, but no, I, I, now that I've had it for a couple days, I don't think that would actually help at all. So yeah, that is my first issue. Pretty fixable. The next issue with the figure is, uh, well, I kind of spoiled it already, is this. The way that they decided to go about this figure's um, the torso switching gimmick to have her with her sitting legs, which we'll talk about in the accessories portion of the video, is that she's connected with kind of a Lego brick type dealio. You have this piece and this piece just goes in right there. It's not horrible. It does stay in place pretty well. Like it doesn't just fall off. But if you grab her and you mess with her, this could come off. So it's, I don't know, it doesn't feel as good. And it completely takes away any torso articulation whatsoever. You have no articulation in the torso whatsoever. There's no ball joint. There's no ab crunch. There's absolutely no torso articulation whatsoever. And using that to lean into the rest of the articulation, the rest of the articulation is actually pretty flawed too. She doesn't have a full double jointed bend at the elbow. Her hands are also fairly limited because of the sculpt of her hands. Her legs are fairly limited. They don't go forward very much. You can see right there. You can, they kind of go in before they go forward. Backwards pretty good. They give a, they give, they do get a good amount of back. Uh, the knee bend is uh, yeah also not a hundred percent double jointed, but that's okay. She does have a toe bend, so that's pretty nice. And the ankle pivot also doesn't feel as good on this figure as it does on a lot of other Figmas. It kind of works like a Marvel Legends ankle pivot and not a Figma ankle pivot. So yeah, a lot of issues with this Figma, if you guys ask me. I think it has quite a few things holding it back from being a genuinely great Figma, and I'll already, and I'll spoil it right off the bat, she is not as good as the Nadeshko. However, with that being said, let's go ahead and bring in her stand here, same as any other Figma stand right here, and this was a huge pain in the ass to put in her back on the first time. Now, this isn't a huge deal. I don't want people to think I'm making a big deal about this, but there was a ton of plastic flashing in that peg, and it made it so difficult to peg this into first time, and even now, even after having her for a couple days and putting taking her in and out of the peg, this is as far as I can get it to go in, and compared to every other Figma where it goes straight in, which I'll show you in a second, yeah, that's uh, that's that's another negative with this figure, in my opinion, but there you have her on her stand now she looks great and I mean okay before we move on to the size comparison it needs to be said at nauseum she looks fantastic right it looks like Rin it's an amazing looking Rin Shima Figma it looks fantastic okay that's absolutely uh, absolutely not you can you cannot take that away from this figma it looks fantastic if they had gone with a different outfit it might it maybe could have looked better but that does not change the fact that the way we have it right now with the outfit they went with it looks fantastic especially the head sculpt the head sculpt is to die for man it looks phenomenal man all right, let's get into the size comparisons, and I know, you guys, you're done, you're sick of waiting, let's bring her in. There they are, probably my two favorite fictional characters of all time, really. Uh, they look so fucking perfect together, it is absolutely insane. It is so amazing having both of these characters in my Figma shelf, on my Hall of Fame shelf. I love them so much, you have no fucking idea. These are such, it's so amazing to have both of these. Now, again, like I said, I will spoil that Nadeshko is better than Rin. The, the, not the character that they're they're pretty much equal for me. I think they're both just god tier characters, and I love everything about them. And I would and I literally just want to grab them and hug them. But Nadeshko is a is a strictly superior Figma to Ram to Rin. I almost called her Rem uh, to Rin. And the reason why is first of all she has articulation in the torso, so you can get a lot more movement right there. Also, her torso swapping gimmick is so much better executed uh, on her figure as opposed to uh, Rin, where she has that Lego brick type deal. This figure just has a peg that just comes out, and it's really easy to do it doesn't really yeah it's it's just it just pops right out I mean it's it's making me look bad on camera <laughs> I promise you this is really easy to do in, on person so you just pop that out and then you just pop on the other one it's really easy and it allows her to have that torso joint that really makes it a lot e that gives her a lot more options in the posing cut department so I think that alone makes her a better figure than Rin and also Rin has no options with this scarf other than the official way you do it which I think is just inferior or the way I show you how to do it where you unplug the ball joint from the back of her neck so yeah that's not a problem with with Nadeshko because you just use the other head sculpt and boom you're golden you don't have to worry about it anymore so yeah uh that is that there you have them together though they look just fucking phenomenal together I can't be said enough man they look so good it's so amazing <laughs> And for some other comparisons, so you can get a good sense of her scale, here she is with the SH Figure Arts Nobara, and here she is with the Figma Aqua. So, these are just a couple of extra size comparisons just to give you the really good sense of how she scales with other figures right there. This Nobara is too tiny, man. <laughs> she should not be the size of, uh, of Nobara there, but that's fine. She scales perfectly with my JJK figures, but yeah, beautiful. 
And you know what? I'll also bring in my Chiaki Nendoroid too. Cause <laughs> there you go. I'll bring back in the dash go here. There you go. <laughs> uh, Richard, what happened to Chiaki? Why does she look like a like a chibi? Why chibi chibi Chiaki? I don't know. <laughs> Alrighty, let's jump into the accessories where this figure kind of takes off a little bit. This figure actually comes with some really fantastic accessories, so let's jump into it. Alright, so we'll start off with all of the interchangeable pieces. First up, of course, we get all of her alternate hands right here. So you have a pair of splayed out hands, you have a pair of gripping hands for her phone, and also for her, por for her pork skewers. You have one holding a fork, and you have these two for gripping hands that will that allow you to hold her blade. So, very, very cool. Switching the hands on this figure is absolutely fucking snappy you just pop whichever hand you want to take off off and then you pop on whichever hand you want to put back on easy really really yeah really easy painless it is a fantastic figure in that department that is always something that's really nice when you get a new figma is how easy the hands are to switch and rin knocks it out of the park very amazing job on the hands there they just switch on and off so easily so fluently i love it Next up, the alternate faces, we can pop off the front of her hair piece, and then I like to just grab her by the ear here and just kind of wiggle off the hair right there. Uh, the first alternate face you get is you get this absolutely adorable, disgusted face right here. <laughs> this is so, so cute. You will be able to have so much fun using this with the Nadeshko right there. Like, this is just, oh my god, this is just adorable. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll talk to her later. <laughs> absolutely adorable. I love this face, but I have to say my favorite face that she comes with is definitely her last alternate face which is of course happy rin <laughs> oh that is so freaking cute my goodness gracious this is the one i've had her displayed with i uh, just oh my god it's so adorable look at it look at it look at it it's perfect oh my god it's so cute <laughs> All right, next up, you get an alternate head sculpt right here. You get an alternate head sculpt with her, with her hat on, just like when the Deshko who came with her alternate hatted head sculpt. With this uh, same as well, you can pop this off. And once again, just like before, you can either plug this into that joint or you can make, in my opinion, the correct decision and just leave the joint unplugged. Pop her head on. Just like that, we will go ahead and pop on a face so we don't have absolute nightmare if you're already in Chan. Reen Chan, what the hell's happening with your face? <laughs> and we'll go ahead and just plug on the default one. There we go. And there we go. So there you have her with her alternate head sculpt on where she has her winter hat on. Absolutely adorable. Once again, again, you do have the option of plugging in this piece, but this piece, I highly recommend you don't do it with this head sculpt because this one, dude, you can't even make it look even remotely like she's looking forward. Like she is just straight up looking up with this head and there's absolutely no way to fix it. So yeah, just, just take my advice. Just pop out the ball joint from the back of the head sculpt or, you know, pop the whole thing. There you go. Just pop the head, just pop the ball joint out from the, uh, from the head sculpt and you're good to go. It looks really, really good. Well, it doesn't look amazing. Like it still doesn't look like it sits naturally, but it looks way better than it did before, in my opinion. And at least it allows you to actually get some movement in the head. So that is the alternate head that is compatible with all of the faces as well. Next up, you get some alternate arms. If you want to have her with her hand, with her uh, arms in her jacket, which is pretty cool in her pocket. So you get these alternate arms right here and they just come like this. And you can just pop off these little caps here that keep the plastic from, uh, from uh, shrinking. And we just come in here. You just pop them off at this section right here. So you just wiggle these off. A little bit hard to do, but you just gotta pop them off. Come on, there we go. And then you do the same thing on this side. And her head popped off, but you know what? Things happen. There we go. And get that back on there. What is going on here? There we go. There you go. And now we can pop on these arms. So you want to pop this one on because the way that this works is kind of weird because they have to like interlock. So you pop that one on and you plop this one on. And then you have to like, then you have to like bring this in. You have to like make sure that the sculpt like lines up with the jacket sculpt. It's kind of crazy to do, especially wants to, when she wants to fucking disembowel herself every single time, every single second you're trying to make this happen. And then you just want to bring this arm in and you just want to plug them together just like this and try to make it look good. Yeah, it's, it's not, it's not a hundred percent well thought out because it's really hard to get this all to sit properly, but you can get it to work if you want to have it. And it does look 
pretty freaking good when you do get it in her hand. It's really difficult to get this to lock in. Like, I know you guys are like, DK, come on, you're not, you're not getting it right, but it's so difficult. Like, seriously, y'all, this Figma is janky. I, this is the best I can get it. I, I'm sorry, I can't get it any better than this. You can see it's still kind of trying to unplug itself from the arm, but look, if I, if I try and like, plug all this down it, it first of all it doesn't go in and if i do this piece is just gonna unlock so there you go that's how it looks it looks good it definitely looks really good but it's really janky like this is just another problem with this figure is i just think it's kind of janky and especially the whole time you're doing this it's just gonna try and separate from this freaking torso piece right here so yeah another issue with this figure um just kind of piling on right here but it still looks pretty good so if you so yeah it, it still looks pretty good and it definitely yeah she's she's very nice and warm now so it is still pretty cute Alrighty, next up we will go into her final uh, gimmick here. We have her alternate sitting legs, just like with Nadeshko. And what we do, of course, I mean, she's been wanting to do it the whole video. You just pop her off right there, and you have to actually, you have to unplug this, uh, this scarf piece first. And then you have to, of course that came off. And you have to give her the shorter piece that is also included. So this just shortens the scarf by a little bit. I don't know if it was 100% necessary. They could have just included just the short scarf, and I don't think anybody would have really given a shit, but yeah, and then you just plug that on, and that allows you to have full clearance to actually have the scarf in between her legs right there, and there you have her sitting down. Yeah, you don't really need to stand for this, so you have her sitting down right there, and it might look a little bit weird, but moving into her other accessories, you have... Her chair! Yes, you get her chair. Absolutely adorable. You can see the little poles with the felt wrapped around it. That is absolutely adorable. And you just sit her down in the chair, and that is pretty fucking adorable. Like, I don't think you, like, I don't think you could argue that is really cute. <laughs> and, of course, you can bring in... <laughs> you can bring in that desk right there, and you can have them sitting together, getting ready for a camp. Very adorable. <laughs> I think it's really cool that you get the chair. I really do. I think that's super, super cool. And you actually, this get, you get this with either version of the figure. You actually get the chair and the sitting legs with the actual standard release of the figure. So, pretty cool. But moving on, we get her smartphone right here. And that goes into this hand right here with the little slot in it. That just slots in right there. So, very cool. Her smartphone. You get... You get her blade right there, very, very awesome, and you can just give this to her in this gripping hand right here, so you just put that in her hand, and there you go, and now she can make you the rust on her blade, absolutely adorable right there, I actually really, really love this accessory, I just think it's so cool that they included that, it's just very, very adorable, would've been cool if they gave you a little board too that you could have her uh, with as well, but what they do give you is they give you a pine cone. <laughs> Very adorable. So you can just, I don't know, put that somewhere. I don't know. I'll have fun with it. You get a Bunsen burner for her. Very adorable. Solo. Very cute. You get her, her little camping tray right here. Again, very adorable. And you can just sit the Bunsen burner on it. You get her portable grill that she buys. Look what I bought. <laughs> Absolutely adorable. Very, very cute. You can just put that all on the tray it is so cute, man. And this combine you can combine all these accessories with the Nadeshko's accessories as well if you want to, which is so adorable. You get two of the pork jowl steaks. You might be wondering why I'm only holding up one because my other one unfortunately broke because I put it in the wrong hand and the stick snapped. Very unfortunate, very sad. But it still works as like a little like just slab of ribs on the food. So it, it still works. This one I can still have her holding it. And just to make sure you guys know which hand to put her in, this hand absolutely is the one with the hole right here. This one. Just just kind of slots in right there, okay? So make sure you use that one and not the one with the slit in it, because that's the one that you use for the phone. Then you get her little soup can, uh, her little soup that she makes on Nagano the, in one of the very first uh, cookie montages, and if you want to, you can take the uh, food out right there. It's uh, either or, and then you can put that on her Bunsen burner right there, or you can put it in her hand using one of her hands. I'm sure you can actually probably put it in her, uh, in her gripping hand right here. So yeah, you can just plug that into her gripping hand right there, which is adorable, just bring in more food to the camp and of course this being a figma you get an alt you get an extra wrist peg and you get a bag to put all of her accessories in so there you have it and of course using all of these accessories you get the blanket accessory just like with Nadeshko she came with her blanket accessory you get the same thing with Rin and with this one you're actually not limited to which head sculpt you want so you can actually put either head sculpt you want so you can give her the one without the hat or you can give her the one 
with the hat. So it doesn't matter which one you go with, either one works, and now you have Secret Society blanket in all of their glory. That is absolutely adorable. I'm going to be putting these on the top of my shelf, which is just so freaking cute. <laughs> and one more thing I want to show before we wrap up this review is... Some of the absolutely amazing scenes that you can create using both of these Figma's accessories. And if you take it just a little bit further and you add in some of your own accessories like this campfire I have from the NECA Ultimate Jason Part 2 figure, you can really create some pretty amazing things with this figure. So there you have it. That is pretty much all of the accessories with Rin Chan. Let's go ahead and jump in to the final thoughts. Oh, also, I, I feel like I absolutely should point out, just like with the Deshko, where you have the blanket accessory and her, you can also, of course, have the blanket accessory with Rin and this. So you do have both of the figures all on your own, which is absolutely awesome. I just love the fact they did that. And, of course, like I said, with Rin-Chan, you can use either head sculpt, so you're not even limited as to which head sculpt you can use. Whereas in the Deshko, you have to have the hatted head sculpt on her uh, blanket accessory, and you can only have the unhatted one on the regular Figma, so... And with that, let's jump into the final thoughts on the fig about Ren Shima. Even with all of this figure's flaws, the fact that the torso has no articulation whatsoever and likes to fall apart, kind of, the arms not really working the best, the, the alternate arms with the pocket not really working the best, the, the, everything with the head sculpt, honestly, even with all those problems... I still really like this Figma. I'm very, very happy with this Figma. Although, I'm just gonna end this by saying that I feel like that this, that a Rin Figma could have been better if instead of doing what they did, they had made, they had chosen to put her in the outfit that she has on in a lot of her scale figures. Go look at the, at the scale figure by Wing. She has her, the outfit she has in that one is one she wears a lot in the show where she kind of has like a poncho kind of deal going on. And I love that outfit. And it's one that you see her in so much. And I think that would have made a perfect Rin Shima Figma outfit. I think that's the outfit they should have went with personally. I just think that was the right one to go with. They could have put joints in the scarf. It could have looked absolutely phenomenal. I really think that that would have been a better choice. However, this is what we got. And after ironing, after having her for a bit, after ironing out all of the, the flaws, I can't, uh, all the flaws, figuring out how to kind of work around the head sculpt and whatnot, I really like the figure. I'm really, really, really happy with her. I'm really happy to have her with Nadeshko. It absolutely needs to be said, though, that she is not as good as Nadeshko, and she's not as good as a lot of the other Figmas I have. Like, she's probably, honestly, factually just one of the weaker Figmas I have because of all of her flaws. Like, really, when you get her in hand, you're gonna see these flaws, and you're gonna be like, oh, man, yeah, she, she's she's not perfect, is she? She's not perfect, but not everything has to be perfect, even though it's Yudu Camp, and it absolutely deserves it, but, you know, we, we I, I also I want to use that to obviously take into account that yes, Max Factory, it's really awesome that you made these figures, that you made Rin, that you made Nadeshko for us absolutely massive Yudu Camp fans. There's not too many of us. We, we are of a very, we're a pretty rare species of weeb, but because a lot of people have not watched this show, and that is absolutely criminal because this show is just phenomenal. I love Yudu Camp so much. This show is fucking amazing. 10 out of 10. Phenomenal show. One of my favorite animes of all time. If you haven't watched it, oh my god, watch it. It's so fucking amazing. You will love every single second of it. And uh, it's really awesome that Max Factory gave us these two Figmas. I don't expect they'll give us any more. I'm pretty sure these are the only two we're going to get. And honestly, Honestly, I'm fine with that, even though, I mean, I, I love other characters in the show, but these are the only two that I really think are, that the fact that we got these is more than enough. I'm so happy we got these. And yes, thank you very much, Max Factory, for these. Even though Rin has a few issues, if you have Nadeshko, 100%, I would still probably, probably recommend getting her. You might be able to wait, though, because Nadeshko went down in price significantly after releasing, so, like, she was 150 when she came out, just like Rin, and then she dropped to, like, 100. Like, I got her for 100 in the same year she came out. So, yeah, if you wait on Rin, you should be, you'll probably be able to get her for a cheaper price as well that's not a guarantee i'm just saying if you wait on her you might be able to get her for a bit more of a deal but even with that being said i think the rin figma is well worth getting if you're a big yudu camp fan like me and yeah um i i was disappointed with her originally but honestly i've really come around to her even with her flaws i'm very 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 happy with her and she might make it onto my end of the year list so there you have it my top 10 of 2022 of my top 10 of uh 2022 list so yeah there you have it that is my review of the figma rin shima let me know all of your thoughts in the comment section down below everybody what did you think of my review and of the figma rin shima do you agree with everything i've said do you not agree with anything i've said hey let me know all of your thoughts and uh yeah with that being said this is dk guillotine us uh, signing out Richard! Richard! <laughs>